Hey man, what's up? Yeah, I wanted to see if you want to come do some riding. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll be over in a few minutes. Sounds good. We'll see you here in a little bit. Guess I gotta change into some riding gear. Much better. I hadn't ridden my dirt bike in months, so when my buddy Luke called me to come ride, I was pretty excited. Luke also claims he hadn't ridden in months, but uh, you wouldn't know it to watch him ride. I guess now would be a good time to mention Luke has won a gold medal at the International Six Day Enduro, so uh, his skill level is pretty high. Despite the high temps and humidity, it felt great to finally be back on my 350. In addition to getting some riding in, I also wanted to test out some new riding gear I just received. It's the 2023 Axis line from MSR. What does MSR stand for? Well, Malcolm Smith Racing, of course. If you've been living under a rock and you've never heard of Malcolm Smith, here's a Cliff Notes version. Malcolm Smith is an eight-time gold medalist at the International Six-Day Enduro, but back when he was competing, it was called the International Six-Day Trial. He's a six-time winner of the Baja 1000, three times on a motorcycle, three times in a car, and a four-time winner of the Baja 500. He's been inducted in the Off-Road Motorsports Hall of Fame, the Motorsports Hall of Fame of America, and the AMA Motorcycle Hall of Fame. And if all that's not enough to impress you, You've had to have heard of the film on any Sunday starring Steve McQueen and Malcolm Smith. You'll see some familiar faces and meet some new ones, like Malcolm Smith, the king of the Sunday riders. Malcolm Smith Racing, or MSR, is now exclusively sold through Rocky Mountain ATV MC, so uh, maybe we ought to actually review this stuff. All right, so let's get into the actual review portion of this video. So when I'm buying dirt bike riding gear, I'm typically looking for two things. Number one, style. I want something that looks cool, I want something that matches, I want something that I actually want to ride in. And two, price, which is why I'm usually buying last year's stuff. You know, the stuff you saw the, the pro motocross guys riding in this season, you'll probably see me in next season because when they mark those things down, that's when I typically buy them. Uh, obviously, comfort and durability are also very important. My son goes through riding gear way faster than I do because one, he's just harder on it, and two, he's still growing. So. You know, sometimes he outgrows it before he's able to wear it out. This is the brand new 2023 MSR Axis. And they've got a couple of different uh, colorways or, or the way things are set up. They've got the Proto and then they have the Range. I got the Range. And here's why. I can get this entire kit for about $102 shipped to the door. I've paid nearly twice that just for a pair of riding pants in the past. So let me talk to you a little bit about why I picked this colorway, why I picked this style, and obviously I've ridden in it, so you know, how well does it work, how comfortable is it, those sorts of things. So we are going to start out with the jersey. Uh, obviously, I went with the, you know, the, the Husqvarna colors because it matches my dirt bike, and I, and I thought it looked kind of cool. Um, you know, it's got some good graphics on it. Obviously, that is, is up to you because that's all subjective. Uh, but it keeps it pretty plain in the back, so if you wanted to put your number on there, or your race number, name, that sort of thing, you've got plenty of room to do that. I like it because it's fairly simple looking. It doesn't have a whole lot of crazy graphics on it. But, you know, when it comes to, you know, comfort, it is a lightweight mesh material. We were out riding in upper 90 degrees. I mean, I did sweat quite a bit still because it was so hot and humid out. But it was comfortable. There was no chafing. It, it, it held up pretty well while we were out riding. It's got some comfortable cuffs on it that have some elasticity in it to keep your arms protected while you're riding. There's no rubbing on, on the collar. That was nice and comfortable. You can see I got a couple of snags on it already from sticker bushes. But that's pretty typical. It's an athletic fit, meaning it's a little bit wider up top and it kind of tapers off in the bottom so you don't have to worry about it coming untucked from your riding pants. Um, a couple of other things. So I'm five foot ten. I fluctuate anywhere between 175, 185 pounds. I'm right in between right now. I found a size large work for me. It also allowed me to wear my, my chest and back protector under, underneath the jersey. You could wear it over top too, but there was enough room in there, but it wasn't baggy or anything. Uh, fortunately, I didn't have any crashes while I was out there. I just had sticker bushes and things like that reaching out to grab me. But uh, you know, for, for a few hours of riding that we were doing the other night, 
Jersey held up well and it was comfortable. So let's hop into the pants next. Okay, so these are the Axis Range pants. Uh, a couple of features on them. They do have laser cut vent holes in here down around your, uh, we'll say upper leg area. That is nice. That did come in handy the other night. At, you know, allowed a little bit of airflow in. Uh, you do have some abrasion resistant uh, areas down here on the knees. You've got plenty of stretch panels both down here around the knee area. You've got them back here in the back. You do have some elastic coming around back. This is one entire stretch panel all the way around here. So there's no bunching up. They're, they're actually really comfortable to ride in. I'll put them up there with just about any other riding pants I've ever worn. I do like this setup. This isn't unique just to uh, MSR gear, but there's quite a few brands using it. So you do have a zipper here to get into them. And then once you zip it up, you don't have to worry about it coming loose because you've got this uh, buckle ratchet system. It's got a decent liner on the inside that runs part of the way down the pant. Overall, really comfortable. Now when it comes to sizing, and this is just something I've always done because I wear knee braces and you know, they're CTI knee braces, they're kind of large. I always go one size up in the waist. So typically I would wear like a 32 waist. I, I usually buy 34s, that's what I did in this case. I can still cinch them down in, in the waist tight enough, but it gives me just a little bit more uh, mobility, a little bit more space, uh, a little bit easier to get these things off and on too if I go up a size when I'm wearing my knee braces. So uh, overall, I mean, these pants still look like they're brand new despite the fact that they were all covered in mud the other night. They washed up well, no color fading, anything like that. Uh, for 65 bucks, quite a steal. So out of this gear kit, the thing I like the most, and it's nothing against the jersey or pants, but it surprised me, and that's the gloves. Because I almost always wear Fox Dirt Paul gloves. Those are my favorite dirt bike gloves I've ever worn. I'm probably still gonna wear the, the, dirt, the dirt Pauls, but these are actually really good gloves for like $16, $17. They are touch screen enabled on, on the thumb and forefinger on each glove. so. You know, if you, you want to get those videos when you're out there riding with your buddy on your iPhone, you can still operate it without having to take your gloves off. It's got a pretty simple Velcro uh, enclosure down here on the bottom. It's, it's rubber reinforced. It ought to hold up pretty well. Uh, just overall really comfortable, and they are pretty lightweight on the back, so it allowed quite a bit of airflow in there. Uh, you know, like I said, we were sweating the other night, but I, I never lost any grip on the, uh, on, on the grips or throttle or anything. Hand stayed dry. Um, just overall really comfortable glove and like I said kind of a steal for for 16 bucks so overall you know what are, what are my thoughts on this gear you know I've got fly racing gear I've got Troy Lee designs gear I've got Thor gear I've probably got three other brands I've forgotten that are hanging up in the closet right now and I'll put this up against any of it is it as good as some of the really high-end stuff no it's missing some features uh, that some of the high-end stuff has on it but for $100 or roughly $100 for an entire kit, if you're just getting into dirt bike riding or you know, you're looking for a spare set of gear or you know, maybe you're doing some adventure riding on, you know, or dual sport riding or whatever and you want something you can go out and you don't want to break the bank, stuff's kind of tough to beat and they've got all sorts of colorways available. And this is what you're paying for the brand new 2023 stuff. They've got closeout on the other stuff and you can get a kit even cheaper. Like we're talking, you know, probably down in like the $70, $80 range if you want to go with the older colorways. So um, overall, I'm impressed by it. Uh, like I said, the price just can't be beat. Will I continue to wear it? Yeah, until I wear it out and then I'll get another set. So um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the review portion of this. It's pretty straightforward. It's riding gear. It looks cool. It holds up. It, again, I haven't ridden it a ton, but it held up, you know, during the ride the other night. Stuff's not coming apart, held up in the wash. So uh, tough to beat for a hundred bucks. Anyway, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, review portion of the video. If you got any questions about anything, let me know down in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. All this stuff is linked down there. And, you know, full disclosure, I've got an affiliate uh, link with Rocky Mountain. So anything you buy through Rocky Mountain will come back and help support the channel. So uh, appreciate that. And as always, talk to you again soon.